Welcome back to episode three of the tutorial system on track building in Railroads Online. And today we're going to build a corner which connects between two sections of track, which can be tricky to get it to line up. But I've got a little method that makes it a little bit easier. And we're also going to do a transition of grade because we need to get from up this high spot here down to that track level. And we don't want to just do it at a sharp kink. We want to gradually make the track go as a downgrade and then gradually level back off again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a cross track here where we want to build onto the spawn area. And we'll grab a constant bit of groundworks and pull it out here somewhere to near the end. And get it somewhere lined up so that it's somewhat straight. Okay, and this is where we'll put in the transition piece. And for transition pieces, you choose the variable and start on the end. And if you hold the shift key and go down, it'll actually go a quarter of a percent on the grade. And we'll try and get it somewhat straight again so that we can build a straight track, which is about there. And then for the next section, we go down one more, one quarter and put it at the shortest distance it'll possibly put us. And we'll put the alt lock on so it makes it build in a straight line. And the next section, and we'll go down seven, five, and we'll take it all the way to gradient one. Okay, so that's put the transition in and we'll end that spline. And we'll come back with a constant, uh, just a single piece of constant. And we want to make it go down at 1% and disappear off into the ground down there in the distance. Now that's given us our transition from this level to the 1% grade. Now to get the transition at the bottom, we build back from the other end. And again, this is going to be a curve. So I'm going to make another fan like I did on the previous corner in the previous episode. Constant grade again. Place down lots of pieces until the two line up. And we will make this disappear into and you can see, that, see it here, it's just starting to disappear into the grade there. And there we go. That has gotten it connected back up again. Now we need to smooth off this sharp kink that we've got right here. And to do that, we'll come back about to there and put it at half the difference between them and put a piece in there. And that's given us a 0.5 change at each one of those segments, which is, it's smooth enough. Okay, now we need to connect the track from the cross track we have down here on the switch to the cross track we have at this end. Now it's easier to build into a switch than it is to build away from a switch. So we'll start at this end. And this is one of those things that may take several tries until you get it right to work out what radius of corner you need. And here we go again. We've got the wrong helper menu. We want that helper menu. And alt lock on to build straight. Seven tie lengths. build down the grade now it doesn't matter if the tires hang off of this temporary groundwork a little bit and where are we lining up to about there so I reckon we'll start turning now and we'll, again we want to ease into the corner we don't want to just go straight for our desired corner radius. 
So we'll ease in with a five to start off with. And then we'll take it up four more and ease it in a little bit more and go to nine. And then we'll ease it up to 12. Okay, now we're gonna put in the rest of the corner and see what it brings us out at. See how close we can get to our point. And most likely we will miss. If we go past too far to the right, we'll have to delete it and try again from the curve. And it looks like we're going to come in pretty good there. You can stretch it out. You can see that we're still to the left side of it. So at about this point, we want to start backing out of the curve. So we will go back, we'll stretch it out, and we can have a look and see where it's going to point. And we might go for a seven just looking at that, just as an estimation. Actually, no, we will we'll put a nine. We'll make it the same as the other end. So we'll put in a nine, and you can see now we're too far over. So we'll come back again. And five is going to be not quite. We want to put a four. And put in another segment, and let's straighten it up again and see where we are. And we're going to need a one. And that should have us pretty much lined up then to come into... Let's see how far off we are. Oh, we've lost our, we looked at the switch and we've lost our helper menu up in the corner. It's now turned into the, and that's a back on zero again, because we counted it. And that's pretty close, I'm happy with that. So I'll turn off the alt lock and snap it to the end. And yes, that was, that was a very easy corner to make. Sometimes you have to, once you've put it in forwards, then you actually have to come back at this end and work back over the track backwards and slowly basically nudge the position of the points you place down so that you can get a smooth curve in so it meets up around the curve without putting a kink in the curve. This was very, very lucky. All right, then the last things to do here are, well, we need to be on rails, remove the cross track from that end. And remove the cross track from up here at the other end. All right, and now remove all this temporary groundworks. And you can just hold down the left mouse button and just wipe it around and it will delete all the, all the groundworks as your mouse pointer hits over it. We don't want to delete too far down this other end. We'll leave one piece under the end down here. And I reckon we leave that piece behind. Because that's where we'll be building off to next. Next we'll do a nice smooth curve that goes around into the trees that way. Okay, now the last step is to put the finished groundworks in. And we'll start here from where the groundworks ended that we put in in episode one. And we will use constant for this section here because this section will be all level. And yes, you need to start on the groundwork, not on top of the tie. And snap it to every segment all the way along to the end. This is by far the quickest part of building is putting in the finished groundworks. And we'll put in three pieces in the middle of the switch and one for the end and there we go we're done now we'll turn around and we'll work backwards this way and again we will we'll choose variable this time because we've got a grade on this piece that we're going to make and we'll start again on and you've just got to estimate middle and 
three segments across the switch, connect to the end, build around this curve. Is the alarm telling me that my 10 minutes are up. Okay, now it's going to start climbing here. We can see here on the grain on the edge that we were at the second big grain and it's now starting to climb. So we need to lift it up slightly to match, to keep it at that same depth. Now we're actually going to let it drop down a little bit here because uh, we'll go up again. Because actually we don't want to be too high with this groundworks because we don't want to sink it in too far along this section here because it's got a meet back level. And we'll skip a few. And we still want to be high. And on that one, and all the way to the end, and click it in and there we go there's our finished groundworks put in nice smooth curves all the way ready to start building the line that heads to the sawmill and the train should be able to go at full speed around these corners with the current speed cap that's in the game. Okay, thank you for watching episode three. In the next episode, I'm going to clear a big space out in there and I'm going to show a few things that happen with corners if you do the wrong thing and what the difference it makes as to what length of segment you use in your corners. Okay, bye-bye.